Okay, tonight I'm working on the 67 GTO here. This wiper motor is really slow and I went online to look for a replacement and all I could find were Chinese ones and I thought, you know what, I got a spare. I'm going to take it apart and see what it looks like inside. So, I got started here. I got the armature out and the um, this motor casing. If you can see in there. <clears throat> I noticed a uh, loose wire right there. I'm not sure where that goes, but we'll figure it out later. Uh, the brushes probably got a little life on them, but they could be be replaced. Um, here's another thing I broke was this copper strap that went on here. I don't know if I did that or if someone else did, but I'll either have to use one off my other motor or I think you can buy them new. So, the other thing I've done is I've drilled off these rivets. These are like a hollow, <clears throat> hollow rivet. And I did it by using a drill bit like this. And you got to go really fast with the bit because the rivet will try to turn. So you got to hold on to the rivet with, the, with your finger and just barely, barely touch it with the drill and just run it really fast. It takes a long time, but it slowly eats away the, the rivet and then you can uh, pound it off with a chisel and a hammer. So I got all those out. Get the camera set down here. And I thought, I was just about to open this up and I was like, man, how many of these things have you walked by at a swap meet and gone, geez, what's inside there behind those rivets? So I thought, I'm gonna record this and share it with everybody. So here we go. Assuming there's gonna be some kind of plate in there. Some gears. There's got to be a contact plate. Okay. Okay. So here's where the motor comes through. It spins this gear. Looks like there's a resistor here for the high and low speed. Most likely. This must be for. Uh, maybe this is for the park. This probably provides ground. GM wiper motors are ground switching, so when you turn the switch on in the car, you're actually providing ground to the wiper motor, not 12 volts. Uh, Ford is the opposite. Ford, you provide power with the switch. So this thing, I'm guessing, let's see here, let's look at this gear. Oh yeah, this thing's really sticky to get that all cleaned up. So I'm guessing that this thing is grounded. This provides ground while this thing's spinning. So anytime it doesn't hit this, it's got ground, got ground, got ground. Oh, no ground, it stops. And then the next time you, you provide ground, it starts and then goes around, goes around, goes around, goes around. If you turn the switch off, parks. Well, that's pretty simple. Well, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Get it all cleaned up and then uh, replace those rivets. I'm going to try to make it look as factory as possible. I don't want to use pop rivets. I'm going to try to find a, a hollow rivet. Get this all unsoldered and I might try to bead blast it. And hopefully it'll turn out better than one I could have bought.